Hey, welcome back. Another episode of Be At The Buzzer. You know who it is. It's your host, B. Briggs, coming to you live. But listen, first things first, if you're coming to us on Facebook, let's get the thumbs up. Actually, it's just one thumb. Let me get the thumbs up. Or the love. It don't matter. I, I, how you do it? I, I'd rather have the heart. I'd rather have the heart. But anyway, listen, if you're coming to us on YouTube, subscribe to the channel if you already have it. We're also on Twitter and IG. You can follow us at the Buzzer BB. That's that's us on any other platform. The Buzzer BB. First things first. Let's get down to business. What I want to talk about today: the small guy rooting for the small guy. This segment is called "Rooting for the Small Guy," and the small guy that we're going to re- root for now is the Wyoming Cowboy, the University of Wyoming. Last week, right before Christmas, I went up to their game, watched them play the University of Omaha. I believe in the program. My little cousin playing for the program, and he a dog, but we're going to talk about him. Last year, they were coached by um, Allen Edwards, former Kentucky, came from the Calipari tree. He couldn't get anything done. I think they won like five games, but then my little cousin caught fire. And they won three games in the Mountain West um, Conference cha- in the, the tournament. First time 11 seed had ever advanced in the tournament. They almost they was a game away from playing San Diego State for the championship, but uh, Sam Murrow from Utah State shot them down. They, him and Cuz was going, they was going at it. But Murrow ended up winning out. And they played, and then the season got con- got canceled. So enter a new coach. Now they were eight and twenty three or whatever last year. Enter a new coach. So they get this coach, Jeff Linder. Jeff Linder came from the University of Northern Colorado, where he, he put together some three or four twenty win seasons. He had a, he, he was nationally known. I think he got the job in 2016 and 2018. He was the coach of the year in the big sky. That means a lot. That means he knows what he's doing. You know, and then he went to a place where in Wyoming you can win and you can go to the NBA in Wyoming. Some notable guys from Wyoming finished Dimbo. I know y'all remember the upset. You know, they pulled that Theo Radliff. He was a pretty good pro. Eric Lechner, remember him. And, uh, of course, Larry Nance Jr., the most recent uh, got to come out of there, but Wyoming is a good spot. Love the stadium, the facilities. It's an older facility, but they take care of it. it it's very, very nice. I was very impressed. But Linder Kid, the coach, knows his stuff. He's been around. He started off with Colorado like in 2000 under Ricardo Patton's staff, right after that was right after Chauncey Billups had left, a few years after Chauncey had left. But then he went on. And he was at Weber State, and he was the assistant that was in charge of recruiting Dame Dollar. So Damian Lindler ended up at Weber State because of this guy. But the guy has proven that he can play that coach. And I, I love what I've seen from them as I've watched them on TV and I've seen in person. His staff, they're together, they're professional. He's got the guys in the roles. And um, actually, what was it, the number one in, in the Mountain West, the conference now, that's uh, UNLV, San Diego State, uh, Fresno State, Utah State, Nevada, who had recently have had good teams. Steve Alford is the coach there. So, very good conference. They had the number one recruiting class uh, in the conference. They brought in eight guys. They brought in four three-star um, high school players, and they brought in some some nice um, JUCO guys. So they had the number one class in the Mountain West and the 53rd overall. So that's very good for a little school of 12 or 13,000 uh, students. But again, the other thing is this guy can coach. He's got them. He got, listen, man, Drake Dreffries, number zero. He's a junior college transfer. This dude coming off the screens. I mean, I, and I tell you the other night when I went there, I know he hit five in a row. He hit five threes in a row. Then you got Maldonado, who was a 20-point scorer last year, and he's been the dog there. 
he he had his motor going. He had almost a triple double. I think he was two assists from having a triple double that night. This boy, Marcus Williams, out of Texas, out of the Houston area, he the real deal. He had about 17 the other night. Listen, out of the Mountain West, San Diego State, they going to give him problems. I don't know the first game because San Diego State is a season team and they've been there. But I'm telling you, by the second game, well, I don't know this year. Let me take that back because now they're playing the double games. So when you go to a location, you're going to play. You're going to be there for three days. You're going to play them twice in that in that location. So it won't be a situation where it'll be a home and home kind of thing. So, but they're going to contend for the Mountain West. I guarantee you. So spotlight on the small guy, Wyoming Cowboys, Kawan Marble Jr. Watch him. You'll be impressed. Oh yeah, they're going to be on the CBS Sports Network. If you got cable, they will be on. I've seen a uh, television lineup. They got a lot of games. They're going to be on CBS Sports Network. It's going to be kind of late. If you're a sports fan, stay up, watch it. You'll enjoy watching these guys. They run and gun. They dunk. They do it all. Wyoming Cowboys. Holler back at your boy.